With inflation skyrocketing, the Federal Reserve has combated that by raising interest rates. They were raised 4.65% at the beginning of 2023, which has forced many people to put the dream of home ownership on the back burner. But not everyone was willing to give up. Many people have sought out states that are recession-proof and have found affordable housing in the following 10 states. We are excited to show you the top 10 cheapest places to buy a house in 2023. Even if you don't plan on buying a home anytime soon, stay tuned to the end and we'll show you some of the cheapest places to rent with an added bonus of the cheapest places to rent in the two most expensive cities in America. There is housing out there for everyone, no matter your budget. There are many ways to calculate the cheapest places to buy a house. Many videos will compare the home values to medium income for each state, but with the amount of people that can work from home, this video will look at only the medium home value by raw numbers. Because this is just the median value, some states will have a greater disparity between the most and the least expensive housing options, so you can decide for yourself where you want to move in 2023. Coming in at number 10 is Kentucky. You'll find that most states on this list are in the southeast and there are a lot of advantages in moving to these states beyond just the home values. The Bluegrass State has an average median home price of about $148,000 $400. The range in which this gets you varies depending on how far you live from the nearest city. The average amount of house you can get at this price point is 1,500 square feet. But unlike in the Northeast, this value also gets you a substantial amount of land with that house. So if you are considering raising a family, you'll have a nice yard and plenty of space between you and your neighbors. Louisville and Bowling Green are two college towns at the extreme northern and southern spots of the state. You'll get slightly less bang for your buck in either of these two cities, but will still fare better than in most of the rest of the country. Number 9 takes us further south to Louisiana, where the median home value is about $147,600. As you'll see in most states on this list, the amount of house you get will depend on how urban or rural you prefer to live. In New Orleans, the median home value is $327,000, which is still cheap when compared to New York or California, but slightly more than what you'll get in rural Louisiana. The Pelican State is most known for Mardi Gras, Cajun food, and haunted manners. It has short, mild winters and long, hot summers, which is perfect if you want a southern climate without the expense of living in Florida. If you are working from home and making a New York salary, you can get a substantial amount of house, even in the heart of New Orleans. For the next on the list, we leave the American South and head to the Midwest. An easy to overlook state is Iowa, but don't be deceived as it comes in at number eight on this list with an average median home value of $146,500. This affords many people a chance at home ownership at a reasonable price tag, getting you somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 square feet. Iowa has a lot more to offer than just cornfields, as it sits between the Missouri and Mississippi rivers across beautiful plains. The crime rate in Iowa is 24% lower than the national average, and many people credit that to the friendliness of the Midwest. While living in Iowa may be cost-effective, the downside would be long, harsh winters. It's no wonder homes are cheap, because you will be spending a lot of time inside through the winter months. People who live in Iowa cite the cost of living, the thriving art scene, food, and nice people as reasons why they love calling the Hawkeye State home. Staying in the Midwest, we come to our seventh least expensive state to live in, Ohio. With a home median value of only $142,600, we now see a bigger decrease from the previous states on this list. Ohio has greater economic diversity and more urban centers than previous states, so the range of house you get will vary wildly depending on where in Ohio you live. A 1,500-square-foot house in Cleveland can be under $99,000, but it comes with all that the Rust Belt has left in its wake. 
However, for the nearly 400,000 Buckeyes who call Cleveland home, they would boast about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Cleveland Museum of Art, and the Cleveland Symphony. Ohio in general is making a comeback among tourism and conventions, becoming one of the hot new meeting spots for corporations hoping to hold large conferences. This is great if you are planning to move to Ohio as it shows great potential for economic growth. Our next state is the furthest west we'll get on this list, and that is Kansas, coming in at number six with a median home value of $141,500. For reference, there isn't a house on the market in the city of Los Angeles that you can get for that price. Only a few listed plots of land. In Kansas, you are looking at a 2,000 square foot home with plenty of acreage. The top three things that come to mind when someone mentions Kansas are tornadoes, the Wizard of Oz, and cornfields. But for those who live in Kansas, they have the benefit of lower than average commute times a deep history of Native American culture, as well as the best barbecue in the country. And yes, this is debatable depending on who you ask from which state. Kansas has also been affectionately called the breadbasket of America and has a rich agricultural history. Though the climate can be harsh throughout the winter, its central location makes traveling to the rest of the country pretty easy. So if you are a transplant coming from the east or west coast, Getting back home to visit will be both cost and time effective. For those living in Kansas, you will enjoy a lower than average cost of living and will find the friendly attitudes expected from the heartland of America. We're halfway through the list and we've dabbled mainly in the South and Midwest. The rest of the list will stick to these regions. So if you are considering home ownership, these are the states to get the most value for your money. And don't forget to stay tuned until the end, where we'll show you the cheapest cities to rent, as well as the cheapest neighborhoods in the most expensive cities to rent a home or apartment. Continuing on at number five, we'll take us out of the Corn Belt and back into the Sun Belt with Alabama. Some sources will show this state as having the lowest home values, and that is true relative to income. So if you are already living in Alabama, you would benefit from cheap housing relative to your salary. But if you plan on relocating to Alabama, most people will find this state to be the most affordable, with a median home value of only $134,300. This is a huge decrease from the sixth cheapest state. Like most states, the home values are higher in the cities, but even a 1,500 square foot home in Huntsville or Birmingham will only cost around $200 to $250,000. Alabama may not be a state that jumps to the top of any must-see list, but it is by far one of America's best-kept secrets. Rich with national parks and monuments, Alabama is not only beautiful, but abundant in history. Alabama was the epicenter of the civil rights movement and hosts the National Civil Rights Museum, the Tuskegee Airmen, and the Freedom Riders National Monument, and so much more. In terms of nature, there is Little River Canyon, the Natchez Trace, and the south end of the Appalachian Mountains. You don't have to travel far to get to number four on this list, which is neighboring state, Mississippi. The Magnolia State has a median home value of $130,200. There are some houses on the market at this price, as big as 2,000 square feet, with almost 20 acres of land. When considering buying a home, many may not think to settle down in the Deep South, but Mississippi, like much of the Deep South, will give you Florida weather without Florida costs. Palm trees and coastline to the south with rivers and forests in the north, Mississippi is the perfect place to own a home with acres of beauty. The downside to living in Mississippi is the school system, which ranks down at 43, and healthcare, which ranks at the bottom at 50. Most sources rank Mississippi as 49th on the list of states from best to worst, but depending on why you buy a home there, you may be willing to overlook a lot for waterfront property. You can easily find a 3,000 square foot home on the Gulf Coast for only $500,000, or a 1,500 square foot condo on the beach for only $299,000. To put that in perspective, 11 other states have a median home value higher than $300,000. And if that's not perspective enough, 
For $300,000 in New York City, the best you can buy would be a 500 square foot studio apartment in a questionable neighborhood. For number three, we head back out to where the South converges with the Midwest in Arkansas with a median home value of $129,500. While that will only get you about 1,200 square feet, this is a testament to the economic diversity within the state. Hot Springs, Arkansas, for example, is one of the hottest niche places to live. And although homes are more expensive than rural Arkansas, you can still get a large house for cheaper than most of the rest of the country. Hot Springs was home to Babe Ruth's first famous home run. And like its namesake, fresh mineral drinking water flows freely from taps around the city. Arkansas is also dotted with small towns like Jasper, which is the gateway to the Buffalo National River, and the Ozark Mountains. It's easy to find a home in the median value in these small towns, but for close to $250,000, you can get houses upwards of 3,000 square feet, which comes with all the charm of small town life. For number two, we head back out west to Oklahoma with a median household value of only $125,400. Like many of the cheaper states on this list, you may not get your dream home for only $125,000, but you can still cash in at the 1,200 to 1,500 square foot range. If you're willing to go up to 250,000 or 300,000, then you're easily looking at houses with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. This still puts you under the median home value for the most expensive 11 states. Oklahoma has probably one of our richest and robust history of Native Americans, including the home of the Cherokee Nation. The University of Oklahoma is one of the few places where indigenous languages are studied, celebrated, and being revitalized. Like Mississippi, if you move to Oklahoma, you will have to compromise on education, as Oklahoma is consistently ranked between 47 and 49th out of 50 in public education. The climate gives no reprieve either, as you will have long, harsh winters. However, not everyone who moves to Oklahoma has a family. So if the school system isn't on your radar, then take advantage of the cost and culture that comes with living in Oklahoma. Without further ado, coming in at number one and earning the spot as the state with the lowest median home value is West Virginia. Say what you want about the rural haulers, the Rust Belt blight, and higher than average unemployment. All that is juxtaposed by some of the most beautiful mountainscapes in the country and the most affordable housing, with the median home value being only $99,000. Again, while you may not get the house you want for such a low price, without spending much more, you can get five bedroom homes with mountain views. There aren't any big cities in West Virginia, but what it lacks in urban development, it makes up for it by a long shot with its quaint, small mountain towns. Nestled in the Appalachian Mountains are the quintessential downtowns still untouched by modern architecture. Despite its bleakness, shifting politics has focused attention on West Virginia, offering a promising future as state initiatives try to retain residents. And with such affordable housing prices, it's no wonder that people are looking to the mountain state. And now as promised, let's take a look at some of the cheapest places to rent housing in the US, as well as the cheapest neighborhoods in the most expensive cities. New York and San Francisco get a bad rap when it comes to the cost of living, but even they have places the average folk can afford. It probably comes at no shock that some of the cheapest cities to rent are in the South and Midwest, but not all the states align. Texas, for example, has the most cities with the cheapest rent of any state. The 21 cheapest cities to rent have averages less than $1,000 a month, with five cities ranging between $600 to $800 a month. Springfield, Missouri, Wichita, Kansas, Ames, Iowa, Jonesboro, Arkansas, and Lubbock, Texas are the five cheapest cities to rent in. Some honorable mentions are Sioux Falls, South Dakota, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Columbus, Georgia. And now for the moment some of you have been waiting for how to rent in two of America's most expensive cities. If you are looking to move to New York City, you will likely have to rent in one of the boroughs other than Manhattan. The cheapest rent in Manhattan is $1,900, unless you want to jump on the micro-apartment trend. A micro-apartment is exactly what it sounds like. Think between 80 and 250 square feet, 
they will still set you back between $700 and $1,000 a month. If you were lucky, your micro apartment will have its own bathroom, but it also wouldn't be uncommon at that price to have to share a common bathroom in the hallway. Hopping over to the West Coast, one of the other cities known for its lack of affordable housing is San Francisco. The average rent for a 737 square foot apartment will set you back $3,300. Your best bet is to forget downtown and look into the greater Bay Area where you can find rent under $2,000 a month. Vallejo, Napa, and Concord are all within commuting range of San Francisco, but without the downtown price tag. For those ambitious enough to want to live in San Francisco proper, the closest you can come to $2,000 a month will be Visitation Valley or Viz Valley located in the southeastern quadrant of San Francisco. Tell us what you think if you live in one of these states. Comment below and let us know if there are hidden and cheap gems in your state. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date on travel videos.